You know those seasons where the fashion trends are very sleek and minimal and classic? Um, that's, that's not this season with shoe trends. It's more of the opposite of that. This season, for fall 2022, the shoe fashion trends are more embellished, you've got big buckles, you've got big platforms. A lot of your traditional styles will be in this video that you will definitely recognize, but they've all been zhuzhed up. I don't really know whether any other better way to say that. Styles you recognize, but just been zhuzhed, zhuzhed up. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell that. How do you, how do you even, is that even a word? Does Webster identify? Anyway, um, they just kind of been decorated a little bit. So embellishments, colors, bright colors, textures, all the things are in the shoes this season for fall 2022. Also, this video is sponsored by Ritual and I will tell you why it's a brand that I have trusted for over two years with my body and soul. That sounds really strange, but I do love this company. I'll tell you about it in a little bit. And now let's get started. The first trend in absolutely no particular order, I just randomly starting with this one, but it's Mary Jane's and I'm talking about the shoe variety, not that other kind. I was not even a part of that life when I was younger or even now, but I do know what that is. It's the shoe one, because it's a shoe video. It's the shoe Mary Janes, very big trend this year, and um, they've kind of been on trend for a little while, but again, it's not your traditional Mary Jane that we're all used to from back in ninth grade. Got big buckles on them now. They're almond toes, platforms, embellishments, fun colors. So the Mary Jane has just been updated a little bit. Again, it's been zhuzhed up a little bit. So if you like Mary Janes, you'll definitely find a lot to choose from this season. I have some Mary Jane-esque shoes. I, 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 they're quasi Mary Janes, but I really love them and they are shockingly comfortable and they're a pointy toe. I'll show you a picture of those and I'll link them below if they're still available, but they're actually really cool. Again, in no particular order, but this shoe kind of seeps into the Mary Jane style, and that is ballet flats. So I mentioned in some other video, sometime somewhere on my channel, that <laughs> ballet flats were coming back around. You know, they were really, really huge for a long time, a while back, like the round toe, the black ones, the very Audrey Hepburn kind of style. But now, again, everything has been, you know, electrified. So the ballet flats are coming in more textures. They have straps on them. They have ankle straps. They have pointy toes or they have an almond toe. It's more so the almond toe or the pointy toe or even a square toe more so than the super round toe ballet flats that are really coming in this season. There were some designers that had um, their models in socks and ballet flats. I'm not sure I'm into that look. It looks very schoolgirl. I don't know, I'm, I, I'm not a schoolgirl. I'm not even a girl, I'm a woman. So um, that's not for me but I do like the ballet flat. I feel like this is, it's a very practical shoe. And I think we'll all be excited about ballet flats coming back and in the more comfortable versions because we all learned last time that even though these shoes are flat, a lot of them are really uncomfortable. There's a lot of companies that are solving that problem. They're trying to have ballet flats that are very comfortable. I'm gonna link a few below that I found that are really cute and look comfortable. And if you're like me and already wanna start shopping even though it's five million degrees outside, you can start there. <laughs> Moto boots, motorcycle boots are making your return. Although I never stopped wearing mine because they're very comfortable and I just, I just always like them. They definitely weren't out of style, but they just really weren't that big for a few years. If you like the moto boot look, you will definitely find a lot this year. Again, they have buckles, they have embellishments, they have gold and silver on them. There's tall ones, short ones, fat ones, skinny ones. I know, I feel like that's a song, a nursery rhyme maybe. I'm with a baby a lot, but this is gonna be an essential boot for fall. I love moto boots because often they are a lot more comfortable than some high heel stiletto pointy toe thing, which those do not belong in my life right now. The head to toe leather look is really big. This kind of goes along with that, but you don't have to wear these moto boots with denim or leather pants or anything. You can also wear them with something really feminine, like a feminine dress or something more delicate. I so I'd like to tell you briefly about Ritual and why I have trusted this brand for over two years. Ritual is a highly researched multivitamin that fills in the gaps in your diet. I started taking Ritual multivitamins when I got pregnant a couple years ago because I felt like I could trust what was in the bottle. And all the nutrients in the bottle were going to be free of any fillers or any anything weird, which is obviously very important when you're pregnant or any other time. They're really gentle on your stomach, which was very important to me as well. And they have a significant amount of vitamin D and omega-3s, which are both tough to get the recommended daily amount just through diet alone. I took the prenatal multivitamin 
multi when I was pregnant and now I'm taking the postnatal multi and I'm about to switch to their everyday multi. It also just came out with a probiotic, prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. Um, <laughs> which I'm very excited about because I know they researched the crap out of it and what they say is in the bottle is actually in there. A very transparent company and I love that I can feel confident about what I'm putting into my body. I do have a 20% off discount code for the first month if you would like to give them a shot. All you need to do is follow the link in the description box and use my code. I highly recommend Ritual. I have had only good experiences with them in the last two years. They have an auto ship program which I also highly recommend. I really can't say enough good things about them. Check them out below if it's something that interests to you and now let's continue. Now, of course as I mentioned earlier platforms are a big trend for 2022 in general. They started off in 2022 they got bigger now we're in the fall where really platforms are going to be everywhere so if you like shoes with platforms pick a shoe, any shoe, you can find it with a platform. Loafers, always a staple for fall. You're gonna find lots of platform loafers this year. Platform boots, huge. Platform heels, very big. If platforms are your thing, you are going to have like the best shoe year ever. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed over the summer, but a lot of metallic shoes and clothing as well was kind of popping up. And so that's also a big trend for the fall. Metallic gold, metallic silver, shiny shoes. This is obviously really fun to do for the holiday season, but I, I really like this. I have a pair I bought literally 15 years ago from Diane von Furstenberg, and I wore those to death. I still have them if I'm feeling like I can walk in four inch heels, I will show you a picture. <laughs> they're kind of high. I haven't walked in that high of a heel in a long time, but they're very cute. So the over the knee boot is coming back and it has already been coming back, but I just feel like people really hadn't embraced it very much. It's really been all about the knee high boot and knee high boots are still very much on trend, but the over the knee boots are definitely creeping back into our normal everyday lives. You probably remember when they were just humongous. I feel like every single person under the sun had over the knee boots <laughs> and then they kind of went out of style because everyone kind of got sick of them for a while. One look I do love is the over the knee boot with some kind of midi or maxi dress with a big slit in it. I think that's very pretty and elegant. And some of these over the knee boots in the different textures and the different colors look really unique. And I like the updates from the past. This next trend is one that I just kind of felt like it was going to be on the runways, but really not make it into our lives. But I have seen them in the summer. I saw them a lot on different sandals and that's like these decorative kind of angular heels. So it'll be a heel, but instead of like a block heel or a round heel, I'm sorry, I use my hands too much. People comment that all the time. I will keep them right here. Um, but they're just some kind of decorative accent on the heel, which is kind of cool looking. I mean, I'm kind of into it sometimes. Some of them look like you would have to be an acrobat in order to wear, but the ones that just have a little bit of decoration, I feel like that's kind of interesting. So that's another trend for this fall. I don't know how much you'll see of that in like normal stores, but a lot of the designers are definitely coming out with some shoes with some more interesting looking heels. As far as sneakers go, the dad sneaker, as we discussed in another video, is kind of kind of gone. The ones that are really, really humongously, outrageously chunky. I don't even know if you can find those anymore. Um, but now it's obviously regular trainers, regular sneakers that you wear to the gym are always in style. But as far as like your everyday casual sneaker, the pendulum has swung back more towards these slim sneakers. Think Converse or kind of kind of a retro look more fitted to your feet. I'm all about this because as I've told you before, my feet are ginormous and um, I can't wear <laughs> big, big shoes. They just look ridiculous on me. I have to wear slim shoes. So I'm all about this. I already have some in my closet. But as far as sneakers go, you're definitely gonna be a fine, way more slimmer style sneakers than those big, humongous, chunky ones that we were seeing a lot a couple years ago. Cowboy boots, as I have mentioned in I think my 2022 trends video, are coming back, have come back. And it's not so much like a cowboy boot that you would literally go and ride a horse with, but more of a, you know, again, everything's a little different this year. Everything's a little bit more embellished. So you've got turquoise cowboy boots and um, tall cowboy boots and crocodile leather cowboy boots, pointed toe cowboy boots, bold colors, short, tall. And the whole style is very back in and they're just coming in lots of colors and different textures. And so it could really be a fun look. I love this kind of paired with something more feminine like a dress or a skirt. I think that's a really fun look. You know the Hunter rain boots? Um, they have been coming in and out of style the last, I don't know, 10 or 15 years. I think it was Kate Moss 
who wore them with a regular casual outfit um, like 20 years ago or something. And ever since then, she has made, she literally single-handedly <laughs> made rain boots. They're not really called rain boots. They're like Wellingtons or something. Um, but she's made these into a style, a trend that people are gonna wear when it's not even raining. So those are back in style. I say back because they kind of go like this. Sometimes, some years are really big. Some years are just not as big. But I was just in New York recently and oh my gosh, I saw so many like latex, PVC, see um you know rain boot style boots a lot of them with platforms and they're just they're still really big they were really big last fall and winter and they're still really big this year so that can be a fun edgy look if that's something that speaks to you let me know which trends you're really excited about and which ones you're like no I feel like there's some of you who are going to be like all about these platforms probably already are already have some and others will be like no I do really love all these bright colors and like the embellishments and the buckles and things. I feel like they're really fun. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I'm kind of into that. Platforms on my big feet and my scrawny legs, it just, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't quite look right. I look like a, a clown. So that might not be something I can really do and that's fine, um, but I can at least enjoy watching other people wear them, right? Now, if you want to see what clothes are trending for fall 2022, check out this video up here. I'll also link something over here that might be of interest to you. Also, make sure to check out Ritual if you are in need of a good and trusted multivitamin or probiotic. They also have kids' vitamins as well. I'm linking everything down in the description below. And as always, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you next time.